Daisy. Hey, it fires off. Yep. Ooh, it smells like varnish. It needs an interior clean. This is a 1977 Chrysler Town & Country. It is the sister car to my 77 Chrysler Newport. What kind, so what is it? Is this tan? It's so I, dirty, see, it's I can't... it's hard to tell. I think it's a little lighter than the Newport. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They, like okay. Beige, maybe? Cream? Yeah. Oh, we have the fender tag, so we'll be able to figure that one out later. So it's a 77 right. wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's it got in it? Ooh, this one. We got something a little different. No longer a 400 like the Fury and the Newport. Yeah, I think we have done a, th done enough with the 400s. What do you think we have in here? I can only guess. Your guess is now. It's not a small block. What do we think? There's only one other up. 440. That's right. Oh, boy. Ah, there it is. The car turns over. We put the battery out of the Newport. That that battery's seen a lot of cars. I guess so. Fury, Newport, and yeah. now the town and country. So <laughs> let's see if this car has anything. You should consider buying another one. Yeah, I mean, you can't get enough. No. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think it's getting any gas. No, but you hear that crank? It's a healthy crank. Yeah, yeah. Did you pump it a couple times? Go ahead, hit the window. Oh, oh, there it goes. Isn't that something? All right, go back up. It's it's, kink, it's crinkling a little better. Wow, that's amazing. It works. Let's take a look. We could be hauling the family in. 77. Yeah, it needs a, oh, a maybe a, a run with a vacuum, but one or two. Just a little bit. A few passes. What is that? Is that glass? Is that glass? Oh, it's plastic. Yeah, I thought it was glass too. You know what? That's is that leather interior? Is that possible? I think it's vinyl. I don't know. It feels very heavy. Oh, that would be that would be luxurious. And if your kids want to smoke, you got yeah, it. Yes, Trace. Actually, the interior is actually in really nice shape. Nice. Wow. What I can't get over is the uh, the wood grain. But I just see how nice that is. Yeah. Most of them I see, they're all faded. It's it's really not faded. Wait till wait till it cleans up. It's gonna look good. See that? There you go. There you got him. You just got him. What'd you do? Twisted it. There you go. They're right there. They're kind of burnt out. No. Oh. Right. Maybe you need a new uh, uh, demo. That's no big deal. Inside hood release. It smells like fire. Oh, cut uh, it off. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. 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 We'll come just, back to yeah, that. that's that's for tomorrow. What the else? next day. We have a radio. Yeah. Hit it. Oh. Oh yeah. In the slush area in the mountains we have a radio. Of the shores of Guatemala. I think we also have an electrical fire too somewhere. Yeah, that's not good. Actually we got that nice design on the dashboard. Look at that, some mold. Yeah. I love that. I can see it all over the wheel. Honestly, I don't think we should clean it. I tell you the interior is actually a pretty decent shape. Look okay, how nice it is. And we have one dome light. There's one in the back too. Is there? The car's so big there's two dome lights. There's one, there's one all the way in the back. It's not illuminated. Oh, okay. okay. But it's back there. What is that switch? And another ashtray for the kids. How old do you think that is? Look at this oh, thing. Oh, gosh. We replaced a fuel filter, which was freaking nasty. And a piece of fuel line, metal fuel line, had a pinhole in it, so we bent up some new line and replaced that. And now we'll run off a gas can. Uh, I'll let you guys hear how it runs. So here's the old fuel line. If you could see that, there's a pinhole right there. So yeah, that, that's what was stopping us the other day.
battery came with the car. That's right. We tried to charge it just because uh, I'm cheap and I didn't want to buy another battery. Uh, my luck wasn't even close to holding a charge. So here we have it. Look at that. That cleaned up nice, didn't it? Really nice. Look at that. I'm sure you remember how it looked before. I'll make sure to plug some pictures in just so you remember. But, uh, oh my, look at that. Look at that, it's like brand new. Hmm. That's a classic. There we go. Door panels look great. All in all, it really came together nicely, we think. So, put the ashtray back in. Club box. Yeah, that's it. Works great. Proud to serve veterans across.
<laughs> oh, here we go. First fill up. What are we at now? 430 a gallon? 429. 429? Ho, oh, oh. ho. No more. No more 91. No more. Ni We're going 87 yeah. in this one? All right, let's go. Not even on my dime today. This, no. I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As you can see the car is still pretty gross like really gross but uh in the spring we'll get a nice wash it's gonna take a few hours for sure these wash bays aren't the greatest but it's the the, the, the dirt's so ingrained it'll come out like you said it'll come out the dirt's embedded pretty good it'll definitely come out but you see the spots where it did come out look how nice the paint is yeah. it's so this, this will clean up nice miles round trip so we got a long journey you think there's any chance it's gonna make it 50 50 yeah I, i'm not sure about this one but it's running really well right now well i had some issues yesterday yeah the starter decided to go poo poo right before our trip so swap the new one in now it starts really well and now we're here at the gas station where all sea bodies love to be Let's see how much this thing takes right now what are we running 87 that's, that's fantastic all right, let's hit the road. Hey, look who decided to come around. The gas gauge is reading three quarters, but uh, what do we put? We put full tank in uh, it, but 
You know, we'll take that. That's a good uh, indicator. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if I trust it, but. No, the dash is starting to work better too. Perfect. It's brighter and uh, everything's working. And we have wipers. All right, let's hit the road for real now. we have down probably like 10 nah no, probably about uh, 30 30 40 so far pretty good gas case seems to be working a little bit it, yeah it didn't work before i think we forgot to mention we don't have an odometer and we don't have a triple odometer obviously so none of that works so we can't <laughs> track our mileage i mean but things are starting to come back on that weren't before right the lights here yep on the gauge cluster. The dash lights, yeah. Yeah, the, the one section there was completely dead. Yep. If you go back to our first wagon video, I think you can see it. The, that part of the cluster was completely dead. So it's nice to see that. It's coming back to life. It is coming back to life. And, oh, it runs so well. Shifts great. We're just cruising at 55, 60. It's, it's so nice. Yeah. The big uh, block's nice. The big block's really nice. Uh, I mean, this is what it was meant to do. Right. Road trips. Right. I mean, you got to consider the car is, what, 45 years old? That's amazing. Yeah. It's still kicking for now, so we'll let you know if we make it. I've been working on these things because, hey, in Niagara Falls, hey, Rostin, you could never get these things off. When I got a flat tire, they were a pain in the butt, but they like the streamlined style. Wheel, and it still pretty much goes straight. <laughs> these things are just like sailing, as I said. Come on. Oh, here we are. We made it to our destination, Rhode Island. Should I ask what the seashell thing was about? No, don't okay. ask. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Um, so we're here, as you probably saw in our prior footage, we met Scotty Kilmer again, this time with the 77 Town & Country Wagon. Just amazed. We pulled it out of that, that garage. Uh, it's been sitting there for years, and here we are. Yeah. Okay, yeah. shows you it's, it's amazing. Anything's possible. That's true. Driving with the window down, it's really nice. It is. Very, very comfortable. And it was raining in the morning, so it was a really crappy morning. Yes. Yeah. Kind of a gloomy day, but now, I mean, we got a gorgeous day. We got to meet Scotty Kilmer again. It's all been pretty fantastic. All right, so, so um, what do you think of chances of making it back? Oh, I don't know. The, the ride up was good. How how did we do on gas? We get like probably 15 miles yeah, a gallon. Yeah, which isn't bad considering the size of the car. I, you know, your foot's not really on the gas. We were kind of coasting because yeah. my wallet is hurting. That's right. <laughs> See if we make it home. Stay tuned.
I am truly amazed. I, I mean, I agree. It ran really well. Over 400 miles. What do we think? At 450? Yeah, about 450 miles. So it's sitting for over a decade. The, the old tires, you know, it all just comes together. We made it. And it, it drove rear, and the engine didn't miss a beat. Oh, it did. Trans it so you know, good. I mean, with the gauges are starting to come. Things are starting to come back that weren't working before. Right. But uh, overall, it's just a, it's a great running car. I mean. What a what a uh, what a pleasure to drive it actually. It really was. Crisco. Up first, Armro Original Protected. I've never used this. Thing. Isn't that funny? You don't you don't remember it? No, not at all. I've never used I've used tire shine, of course, but let's see. Okay. Back on the, the you know the Volaris and stuff yeah. like that. We used to use armor on, and uh, the, the uh, it would fade. The sun really does a job on the. Uh, the and vinyl. this is a UV protectant, so I wonder if that oh, would, is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not I don't sure. Know. I don't know. Is that? It doesn't look much different to me. It just looks a little. Uh, Glossier? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe a little like a satin. Give me all of it. Wow. That yeah, actually looks pretty good. It does look good. I mean, it's, it dissolves right into the material. Look at that. And this wood grain's pretty beat too. It's it is, but it's trouble. it's it's making it's bringing it back. Just get the edges if you can. Yes. This was the most recommended. So, let's see a little bit. Because it's not wood, you know, it's actual right. vinyl. That looks good. It's dirty. Yeah, it's very dirty. It's funny, we washed it too. It is dirty. Yeah, that maybe? I don't know how much car wax you put I have on no the idea. Just, I do I equal like everything else you did, you know? Okay, we'll go for that. We'll rub it in, then we'll buff it out with the other side. That actually bring it out too. Doing something. Because now we're gonna start getting now it's getting warmer. We're gonna start you know getting the paint in better condition, right, relaxing yeah. and stuff. It does need a extensive detail. So this time this is the first time the uh, anything's been applied to the, the wood grain in a this long time, yeah. Time. Oh wow. Actually it does look really good. It does look nice. Oh it definitely oh that definitely brought it out. Wow. That looks fantastic. Ooh, look that looks that. fantastic. Yeah. Our testing methods probably weren't the best. We're out here in the wind. Uh, you know, not the best situation. But we were trying to show everybody and their suggestions applied with the actual wood grain. Yeah, I wish the skirts were in better shape, but it is what it is. So. But, uh, you know, that was our attempt. I've never seen anything like it before. So right, right. that's our take on that. Oh. Yeah. If you have any suggestions or let us know what we did wrong or right. Yeah. Thanks to everyone. That was a big help. Car looks great. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.